what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today I've got a review for you let's get these to the right way I got some M model US's in Duraflex plastic we're gonna test these out and see how they fly hope this wind isn't causing too much I've got a little dead cat on my mic so we'll see how it works but yeah uh, the numbers on these are four five negative one and one so we'll see how those hold up uh, I'm wondering if they're close to an M4 I've, I've tossed them a few times I think they're gonna be a little bit more stable but make sure you um, click the subscribe button for me somewhere right here and uh, ding the bell so you know whenever I post these videos up and make sure you click the all notifications on it whenever you do that too so you know when stuff goes up but let's get into this review yeah all right so what I'm gonna do first I've not really thrown any shots today so I'm just gonna do some really low power hyzer releases straight out into this hillside out here there's a basket over here I don't know if you can see it but uh I'll probably throw towards it but maybe not at it just just get a feel of these on low power uh, hyzers almost hit the basket we'll go again same release or at least try to That was a little bit straighter. That was crossing the chains. I thought it went right through the basket. All right, up here at the top of the driveway, gonna just do some low power flicks first with the, uh, the M model US. Just see what they'll do. There's a little bit of wind. So hopefully it doesn't flip them too bad. Let's get them. Well, that one rolled over a little. Yeah. They won't handle a ton of torque on a forehand there, but it is a, it's a, it's a comfortable feeling rim for it, I'll say that. All right, we're gonna take these M model USs and give them a pretty good throw and see if we can get a good flex across the yard here. Do that first one a little too high, so I'm gonna try to get this one lower. <laughs> I said I'm gonna get that one lower and I threw it higher, but it almost like fell out of the limbs into the basket. All right, I'm gonna try to throw out this gap with the M-Model US and just try to get a good straight low flight. I think I came over on that one a little bit. I need to hold the hyzer better. Let's try it. That was okay. I threw it low and straight, so. Yeah. All right, last thing I think I'm gonna do is just a couple of low power flicks from right here because I didn't give the Model US much justice on the first flick, so. Let's end the video this way. I don't know why I stopped recording that. And it just seems to be a not a good angle for flicks right here because I got a headwind.
much smoother on that standstill forehand with the M model US works pretty good. Not bad. Standstill M model US flicks are not bad. It's pretty comfortable. <sighs> and we're back. All right. To wrap up this review of the M model US. Um, first thing I do want to say about it on a positive, I love the way that it feels in my hand. I'll try to get real close. I like the rim. It's a really comfortable rim, no sharpness on it whatsoever. Um, don't know that this is going to get bagged. Um, I don't bag a lot of mids. People have probably heard me say that a lot on the channel. I just don't throw a lot of mids. I keep a couple in the bag for when I play <clears throat> courses not in my local area because I just don't run into a lot of situations or holes here that require mid-range distance for me. I'll throw putters for a lot of that distance and then like A3s and stuff. And then once I get past that, I, I just go up to a fairway or something. So uh, Tennessee and North Carolina stuff, I've found myself throwing more mids there. But uh, yeah, uh, it's a good disc. It's worth trying. Um, at the moment, they're not M4 level on stability wise. Um, they feel just as comfortable as an M4 does in my hand. I would probably just have to throw these more if I'm going to actually bag them, but it's going to take a really good disc to kick the M4 out because I like the M4s a lot. But if you want a disc like this, um, I'm not sure if they've got M model US's right now, but they could. PatentPendingDiscGolf.com. I'll tag it in my description. Uh, use the code DELP10 to get you a discount on checkout on some discs. I'm pretty sure that's where I got these. So um, give them a try. They're a comfortable mid. If you like mids, I don't throw a lot of mids. So uh, it's hard for me to bag new mids. But definitely worth a try. It's a good disc. I do think it's a good disc. Windy, not as much a good disc. But calmer conditions or a tailwind, yeah, would work really well. So that's all I got, guys. Make sure to share these videos. Leave me some comments and tell me what you want to see me do. Uh, Review-wise, any other type of uh, input, I will take that to heart. So that's all I got. Till next time. Peace.